Hello, this is Marcelo Valau, Forge Extension Specialist with the University of Florida, and I'm here at the Shenandoah Dairy Swanee Valley in North Florida to take a look at the 2024 Cool Season Forge Variety Trial. This is a partnership where, with several colleagues in the Forge team, Dr. Makoviak, Dr. Blunt, and myself, with the milk checkoff check program in several of our dairies in the region. So every year we come to the dairies to see what, uh, how they new and proven and most used varieties of cool season forages are performing in this situation. One thing that's cool to, to, to mention is that whenever we look at the performance of those varieties in a dairy setting, we're normally talking about high nutrient, high fertilization rates, high nutrient availability, and we're getting close to what we call an optimal. So this is the potential of the performance. Uh, whenever we don't have the proper management practices, we see some of this, some of this performance going down and some of the difference in performance between the different varieties going down. So it's very important that whenever we show how good some of those forages are, we keep in mind that we are also giving them plenty of condition to perform well. From another perspective, that means if you are not being able to put the inputs necessary to make those forges perform, well, we're really missing out in terms of, uh, of performance. So let's take, let's take a look of what we have here. I'm going to take a tour and also make some comments in relation to uh, biomass production we're harvesting today. It's about 110 days after planting we're harvesting today. We don't have the data yet, so my comments are going to be more on, on what we're seeing here uh, in this field. Let's take a look. Okay, January 30, 196 days after planting, we're here at the UF Dairy to take a look at the cool season forage trial. Plots one and two here, a little bit of lodging on the two rice, rye uh, Florida 401 in the right 405 in the left. Uh, two later rice here, Kelly Grazer, this is the next one in line, Kelly Grazer 3 and Winsor Bruzzi. We're getting into the triticale and we're already seeing some heading out here on our triticales. Our first one is Trical 342, followed by Florida 01128, and on last Trical 1143. You can see it's, uh, it's quite early maturing here, actually surprising that it's even more mature, earlier maturing than the traditional 342. Last one is Trical Surge. Our next in line here, we have two wheats, AG, AGS 2024, in AGS 3022. Our black oats are doing quite well this year. We didn't have a very, any very strong frost. We have black oat 5 and black oat 10, two experimental varieties that are being tested here. Let me rephrase that. We did have some very cold weather a few weeks ago, but was not as a killing frost like we had last year. This plot doesn't look too good. It's a Legend 567. We'll see it in a little bit, but it's interesting to see it here side by side with Horizon 306, a much later variety, um, a variety of oat. Uh, next, we have Horizon 720, Juggernaut, a new release from the University of Florida, and the traditional Cocker 227. Uh, here on the left of the video is also uh, Legend 567 again, and you can see the big difference between, between those improved varieties, Legend 567 and Juggernaut on the two sides of the video compared to Cocker 222. Let's turn around and look at our ryegrasses. Our first one is kind of impressive, it's Gulf ryegrass. Of course, it's not the true Gulf. This is a tetraploy type. You never know what you're getting on that. Uh, early ployed is our next in line, uh, producing quite a lot here. Big Boss, Frostproof, which is a diploy type, you can see the, the narrower leaves. And finally, we have uh, Jumbo, our last one. We're gonna skip a few plots here. This was, uh, this was contamination here, was uh, a missed plot. Our three winter peas are looking pretty bad. You almost don't see anything. The only one that has some more uh, inter winter pea there is actually a keystone in the middle. Chickpea is also not doing well, and then we have the three vetches here. 
we start with a common veg, Albert Merritt and Patagonia. Patagonia and Albert Merritt doing, doing a little better. And our three, our four plots at the end here, uh, we have the mixtures of rye and uh, of rye and uh, triticale, triticale 342 and 405 rye with icicle, winter pea, and you can see some winter pea there in the middle, a little shy, and then we have the the ones with uh, hairy veg, and also you don't see a lot of hairy veg in the end here. Our last plot here is another another Horizon oat that was not in the trial, but I put as a border here is Horizon 214. Everything doing quite well and pretty impressive for the trial.